Hey, welcome back to my stage four journey. We're on our way to the shop today. I got a friend of mine bringing a trailer down. Actually, he's a, well, he's a friend of mine, but he's actually the oldest son of some really good friends of mine that I went to school with. And uh, he has his own business. He's grown now and he has his own business and uh, it's uh, Groves Property Services and he does all kinds of things and uh, um, part of his business is power washing and he wants to build a new power washing rig so he bought an old trailer and uh, it needs some work so he's bringing it down to the shop today and we're gonna see what we can do to help him out I think there's a couple of cross members we're gonna have to cut out and um, I think the fenders are pretty much going on it so we're gonna have to do something with the fenders too but uh, so that's what we're doing today so we're headed to the shop it's a pretty nice day the sun's shining pretty good but it's a little windy and it's a little cold too it's i mean it's in in the mid 30s but that wind blowing is kind of cold but anyhow we'll be at the shop in a few minutes and uh we'll see you when we get there yeah now cut it Got it. Oh, pull up. Now you got her. Yeah. Yep. Oh, slow. Keep coming. Keep coming. Keep coming. Keep coming. Watch this wheel on my side. Oh. Yeah. Okay, let's just go right there. I mean. Right there? Yeah, that'll work. Right. For right now, we'll, we'll do what we can on the back here. <laughs> All right, so who we got here is Austin, and this is his project he's got going on here. We're going to cut us some cross members out today and try to get them fixed. And uh, this this is his business here. Oh, uh, that's his phone number. He's out of what was it, a Hagerstown address, Austin, yeah. Hagerstown, Maryland. And uh, you guys will be able to watch us do these cross members here today. So.
go on the outside, pull that wire out right there. So I don't burn that. Yep. Gotcha. Like put me back a little closer to the metal. To the metal? Yep, to the metal. To the metal, okay. Yeah. Closer than that, yeah. Almost touching it. There you go, a little closer, yeah. Now you're cutting. There it goes. Yeah, you can. <laughs> yeah. So I can 
Yeah. Oh my goodness. Yeah, it looks just kept going. I'm like, where are you gonna cut? This is gonna cut through. This I guess so. We might as well go ahead and see if it'll fit in there. We might have to grind some down. Uh -oh. I thought about this being an issue. I would put the uh, angle facing back. That way your road dirt doesn't come up and lay we're, on it. We're a little skinny. A little short? How much? Uh, that's a quarter inch. I mean, I, I can split it. And, what is the uh, measurement of this thing?
Pretty. You get it where you want it, and then I'll put two on center. Just make sure it's down on top of the. Uh, yeah, that looks, there's two by fours. That's a little, a little off. And right there, it's. So just good. hit it back to where you want it. Get get the one end where you want it, and then I'll put some packs on. All right. So I think right here. I mean, because what are we going for? What do you think we need? What do you think this was now? I mean, because look at that. Then we then this. Is, I think they, they had. I think they were all different. Cause then we're coming to this, and this one looks like it's 16 and a half. Yeah, like I but said. But I mean, we're almost on to where it looks from the like front and back. They were three different measurements in there. So, so we're going with 22. On this one. I just say put it where you want it. 22. Mm -hmm. I'd go ahead and send that. Okay, one. You want that one? Uh oh. That's the only thing about that. These not long enough. Okay, now check your distance again one more time. Yeah. Actually, that's better. Good.
Okay, well, it's day two on this trailer thing. And uh, it's a beautiful day. It turned out to be an absolute beautiful day. But we wasn't able to get it all done yesterday. I can only work a few hours at a time. Then I just get too tired. But uh, I'll show you what we got going on. We got... Uh, these are the... These are the old cross members. And they were pretty... Pretty rusted out. So we're replacing these. Let me place that one there. Replacing that one. Got one getting ready to go in there. And then uh, we're going to cut this one out. And of course, this is what what's going on with them. They're just filled with hogs. So this one's coming out. And it looks like maybe somebody ought to already replace this one. Because that's different than the rest. I don't know. Matter of fact, I can, yeah, you can definitely see that that one was replaced already. But this trailer's seen better days, but he got a pretty good deal on it, pretty cheap. And we're going to fix it up for him. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to try to get these cross members done today. Uh, he wants me to do some stuff up here. Um, this piece here is too long when he can't open his tailgate to get anything in the back of his tailgate so we're going to cut cut a couple inches of that off and then inside this toolbox is pretty rusted out so we're going to put some plate steel on the bottom of that toolbox and uh yeah he's got his work cut out for him but you know he's going to save a couple dollars by doing that you know we still got a lot of fender work to do these fenders are real bad so He's got some sheet metal coming. We're going to cut this out and just put some new sheet metal in there. But yeah, it's it's in pretty bad shape. But it is what it is. We're going to try to get it done today. I know we're not going to get the fenders done, but we'll at least get those cross members in and he can get ready to put the boards on that. I think he's going to try to uh, either wire or wheel. The frame the rest of the frame or maybe even run a sandblaster and do some sandblasting but yep that's where we're at today so i'm not feeling real good i guess i just overdid it yesterday my back hurts and i'm just tired and i, I just don't feel like i got a bunch of energy today so oh austin might be doing a little bit more than uh, he was expecting to do but uh he's eager to learn he wants to learn this stuff and uh, I'm willing to teach him so um, that's where we are at today so he's on his way here now and uh, when he gets here we'll move the uh, uh, trailer back inside the shop and um, get started so we'll see you all in a little bit We'll go ahead and cut out these these cross members that you want cut out. And uh, 
That way that'll be done and over with we get that all cleaned up. Done. We got to where he wants to, uh, where he thinks he can finish it, uh, the rest. Uh, if he needs any more help, I'm willing to give him a hand. But uh, 
I'll just show you what all he's got going on here. He uh, got the wires up back over along the side. And here's all the cross members. We got this one here, this one here, that one, that one, that one, that one, and then that one in the back. They're all new. So that's where we are with that. And he's waiting on some sheet metal for the for the fenders and um, he's going to probably try to tackle that on his own but uh, if he needs some help I'm willing to give him a hand so uh, here all right all right so he's going to be able to finish up on his own so Austin I hope you had fun yeah I did much appreciate the help and all the learning I got here and so you did learn something oh yeah all right well hey man I, I appreciate you and, and being part of my channel that's pretty cool man so I appreciate your help <laughs> all right buddy we'll talk to you later then Okay, well, Austin's got the trailer hooked up and he's headed up the road now. And uh, whew, I'm I'm beat. I'm I mean I'm absolutely beat. Um, I had fun. Uh, uh, he seemed like he learned some stuff and he was thankful for that. And um, I never have an issue uh, with helping somebody that's uh, trying to help themselves. So um, I wish him the best with that. And uh, he may be bringing it back to uh, do those fenders and fix that toolbox. Uh, he's waiting on some sheet metal for that stuff, but uh, we was messing with his welder a little bit and we just couldn't get that thing working right. But I gave him some hint or, uh, hints on what to do to, to get that welder running better. He was just trying to do uh, flux core uh, weld wire and it's just, it's not the best thing to use for sheet metal and, and try to uh, finish that sheet metal off with it. So. He'll probably end up bringing the trailer back, which is fine. I don't mind it one bit, but uh, whew, a couple hours today and about three hours yesterday, I'm just, I'm absolutely beat. So I'm going to head home and hit the couch and probably fix some leftovers for dinner because I really don't feel like fixing dinner tonight. And Cheryl was babysitting uh, the grandkids this afternoon. So she's probably gonna be as beat as I am when she gets home. So uh, we're just probably gonna do leftovers tonight and hit the couch and we'll probably both be asleep by eight o'clock. So, well, with all that said, I hope you enjoyed this, this uh, episode today to see a little bit more of what I do here at my shop. And I uh, um, appreciate y'all coming and watching um if you did like what you see i uh, would ask you to uh, subscribe for me and like the video and if you would mind leaving me a comment down below i'm uh, just saying hi and, and or, or whatever whatever you want to say so i appreciate all that and um today was even though i am absolutely exhausted it was a beautiful day and it was a great day to be alive so we will see you all next time all right then bye